Being sent to Coventry is never much fun. It certainly hasn't been for Southampton down the years. Only four wins at Highfield Road since 1922. A poor record Dion Dublin seems certain to extend when he scored the quickest goal of the day. Just two minutes into the action and Coventry ahead. David Rennie's long clearance falling nicely for Dublin and his lob catching Grobelar in no man's land. Three goals in three games for Dublin since his £2 million move from Manchester United. Coventry manager Phil Neal said afterwards the early goal may have been his side's undoing. That, combined with the artistry of Southampton's Matt Letizier and the superb finishing of Ian Dowie. A month ago, Dowie was being linked with a move to Norwich City. Saints boss Alan Ball might now think twice about releasing him. It was Letizier's pinpoint pass which set up the equaliser in the 19th minute. Dowie firing past Steve Grizovic for his first goal of the season. Ten minutes into the second half, Dowie put the visitors in front after impressive work down the right by Southampton's new boy, Ronnie Eckerland. The Dane making his first full debut crossed low into the box and Dowie flung himself full length to find the net. 2-1 and the show was just beginning. Eckland cost £500,000, money clearly well spent, and another foreigner destined for a big future in the Premiership. Southampton were on the scent of their second league win of the season and beginning to outclass their hosts. Another flash of Letizia's skill nearly put in Dowie for his hat-trick. But in the end, it was Ronnie Eckerland who completed the victory with a superb goal nine minutes from time. A determined run, a stylish one-two with Jim McGilton, followed by an unstoppable shot past Steve Grizovic. So Southampton's second win of the season, both away from the Dell. Ball said he thought his side were fantastic. They also hit the bar, leaving Coventry with plenty to think about, if not talk about. Final score, Coventry 1, Southampton 3.